Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make these beautiful links. I know that 4th of July is coming and I wanted to make this decoration for all of you. But remember that if you watch this video from other video and you are not from the US, well, you can make this idea using the colors of your flag, okay? Remember that also this idea could be useful for any other project or celebration that you have in mind. Imagine making this for your kids party with their favorite colors. I think it will be so easy and different to make. and your party will look beautiful. So please stay tuned till the end and please let me know here in the comments in what else you think this project will be useful. You won't believe how busy it is and the best part I guess that you will use all the material that you have left from previous videos because we approximately use 50 grams in each color and you can make many and in the different sizes that you want. Okay but well uh, let's don't waste more time and let's start well i will show you how we are going to make these links and remember as i told you since the beginning we are going to need approximately 50 grams in each material in this case i'm using a material that it's between a fine and light i will use three different colors i will follow the path of the u.s flag that it's red blue and white I will use the hook of number 3.5 millimeters and I will use also an embroidery needle. But well, as I told you, remember that you will use the colors that you want, okay? Or the colors of your flag. You will decorate your walls, a door or something else or a tree, right? Well, first we are going to start making 30 chains that if you want a a smaller link well you are going to make 20 or 15 chains but I guess that 30 is the standard size and it will look good so with one thread and with your hook with the color that you choose we are going to start making 30 chains and like this is how we are going to start all of them so here we are going to imagine that we finish and that we have more okay so we are going to finish the 30 chains and like I already made some links, I will close it, but I will close it inside these links that I already made. So imagine that you made more and when you are about to make the first one, well, you just will close in circle, slip in one and go up with one chain and continue making the chains like we sorry the stitches like we are going to make here so when you are going to make the first one you are going to slip one to close then we will go up with one chain but like here I already made some while I crochet I will um join with the rest of the links and like this we are going to add more and more and more so here I went up with one chain and then we are going to make half double crochet in each space. As you could see, I took the thread that we used to start and I will crochet over it. So when we make these stitches, we can hide it. Okay, so like this in order, we are going to make one half double crochet in all the spaces. At the end, we must have 30. Well, here I'm about to make the last half double crochet and we are going to slip one to close right here. In this step you have to check that you didn't twist or so. Once you are sure we are going to slip one to close or we can go up right away without closing the row. I think this step is better to um don't close the row and continue in a spiral so we are going to continue making more rows like this going up in a spiral without closing the rows you will see that how it looks different okay and 
If you want, you can take just the back part of the chain to make some pleats in front or like me, taking both parts of the chain to uh, have this kind of a stitch. So like this, we are going to continue making more rows until you get the white of the links that you want. So let me make more rows and then I will tell you how many I made in each link. Well, so here we have two, three, four and five rows, okay? So I think that with five rows it's enough. So here we are going to slip one to close. Well, you are going to continue making more rows if you want to. And once you are sure, we are going to slip one to close and make a knot right here. At the end, we are going to hide all these threads using the embroidery needle. Like this, I like to use this kind of embroidery needles and hide it in the uh, wrong side. First, I hide the thread through the area. Remember that it's important that you hide the thread where it's the color area of the thread that you want to hide. In this case, red with red. So we are going to insert the thread through the needle and bring them through. At the end, we are going to cut and we are going to uh, burn these tips with the lighter. Okay, always in the wrong side. Well, like this is how we are going to hide all these threads and finish each link. You see? So easy, right? So, as I told you, you can use the colors of your flag. In this case, I'm making a series of many videos that I want to share with all of you about 4th of July because I know that many people from US watch these videos. So here I wanted to share more ideas of how you can decorate for this coming celebration that, it, that I know it's one of the biggest, 4th of July. But remember that is the, this idea could be useful for any other celebration that you may have in mind. You can use the color of your flag or you can use your favorite colors to decorate any celebration. For example, in the party of your kids, your birthday or any other project. But well, thank you so much for watching till the end and don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned.